Hey, yo, what's up, you guys? So, hold there. Obviously, I have a new review for you today, and it is on the Super Scroll. Now, since there is no box, we can almost just get right into it. Uh, this is actually technically the second only build a figure I've completed, which is really sad. But hopefully, I can complete that Hulk one soon. I'm going to also complete the, the Demo Goblin. I think that's what it's called. And I'll I'll finish the I'll get I'll get the entire abomination wave except except for Captain America and then Iron Man I'm just gonna leave it for my mom's because I don't need him. Uh but I'm gonna complete the abomination rave and review all the characters with you. But we do actually have quite a bit of accessories with me. I'll get them all here for you. Now you not oh, Now, these are all interchangeable. And I'm not going to interchange them out. But there's also one that he comes that's on his hand right now. So sure, that piece is this nice flaming piece for the you know the human torch part that he has comes with two different sets of arms one which is all powered up which you'll see later but one set is just uh may maybe to have a powered down super scroll or to just have a basic comic scroll which unfortunately though you would have to buy this wave over and over again if you wanted an army build so hopefully some t some at some point they'll just make a basic scroll using this um and just use it as like a pack like they did with the aim and hydra figure figures um so there's that and it comes with a another inter interchangeable head which is kind of grinning kind of grinning evilly so and since you've already seen this accessory and because it's kind of a pain to show this figure with this accessory on because it will fall off not super easily, but, you know, still, so I'm going to try to get him just in a flatten out pose. So, I'll go over the just basic kind of scroll part. So, nice, nice, you know, suit that the scrolls usually typically wear. He's got the nice blue and black paint where he needs it, and, you know, he's got these added on pieces for the flares there's not really a specific i think this might be a unique body build if there's anybody that knows that there's actually another figure that uses the same body mold let me know but he's got you know all the muscles and the wrinkles and all that stuff so he looks and he's really big he's really i mean even though he's kind of small for a build figure he's decently wide so like you know he's kind he's you know to a small build a figure size that's pretty good and I just hope they don't ever do the Mantis thing that they did, where it was, like, a really small female figure for a Build-A-Figure. Instead of, like, you know, there was, like, another character in that way they could have made a Build-A-Figure. But, and then we'll look at the arms. So, the first one is the stretchy arm. So, it stretches our, I'm basically, I think this is the same mold that they gave the, uh, stretchy arm for the Walgreens exclusive Mr. Fantastic. But, I think they just made it bigger. And they also gave him a fist. I don't remember if they gave him a fist for the stretchy one, but you can also kind of see the, I mean, the peg work in there, and you can also see the, like how the joints work in there. And then of course they've got the nice, you know, invisible woman effect as well. So you got, you know, this is kind of shaded out to try to kind of show that it, you know, goes invisible. I wonder if they'll ever be able to make clear pegs, because it is kind of annoying to have white. But, I mean, it blends in pretty well. Especially on camera. You know. So, that's really, really nice. So, there's that. Then, on the other one, really nice. You know, they did this. I'm pretty sure this is just a fist from thing that they took. Probably, maybe. Eh, his is a little bigger. So, they kind of, this is kind of unique, I guess. But, it's the same nice sculpt. You know, it shows, like, the fading effect, showing that, like, you know, he's using his power on one arm, and it starts to get rocky, and 
you know, all the nice little rock, rocky details. I guess I could show you what it looks like with the other head sculpt. Actually, I might have that on. I'm going to try to see who I can. Ooh, I of course chose the one that is super tight. So, I'll try to show this. So there he is, I guess, with the normal arms and the other head sculpt, so. You know, if you just want to power down Super Scroll, you know, he looks pretty menacing like that, too. But, obviously, I'm really, really worried about this. Yeah, see, it's already worn, so be very careful, because mine have been very tight for some reason. At least the uh, depowered arms. I'm really trying not to damage the figure. But even when I put them down, I don't know if I had it in all the way or not, but like it chips some of that off. But see how that just snapped easily in there. These were definitely more of the arms that were made to go in. Get the nice fire effect going. Maybe I have I can have him. Do that. But so articulation time. So I'm gonna take the flame off again. So his head, obviously both heads, because you know the same head basically. And look up, look down, look side to side. Got a little bit of tilt, his arms are about that much. You know, they can rotate all the way around. Got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, the wrist swivel, and a hinge. Ab crunch goes down that far, goes back that far. His waist goes side to side. Legs kick up that far. They kick back that barely at all. Got an upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees, calf swivel, ankle move down, move up, and he's got ankle pivot. So I'm going to at least try to compare him to, he actually has quite a few enemies. I did not know that even Marvel, which is one of the character, one of my favorite characters that I don't know a lot about. Uh, and that's mainly probably because of Genusville, uh, because they, I don't know if, Genus Hill's ever fought him, but I could. I'm gonna compare him anyway. Because he's a pretty basic figure. So. Oh, you can't really see that. But I've got them flat as I can. So. They stand pretty close in height. Then I'll compare him to Mr. Fantastic, which you've seen yesterday. I'm only going to compare him to a few figures. Here he is next to Thane, which he's smaller than, which is good.
That's all I'm going to compare them to because it's I'm lazy. But So yeah, that is the Super Scroll Build-A-Figure. For my second ever Build-A-Figure, he's pretty cool. Like, I really like him. And I can't wait to have him maybe pose up and fight against uh, Marvel. Um, which, I might just start letting you guys know which would probably be like the best review. I mean, not the best review, but the most excited review I have for each wave. So for obviously the Black Widow wave, it's going to be Winter Soldier. Uh, the second one would, is, would obviously be Taskmaster, but you've already seen that. Uh, for the upcoming like Gamerverse Avengers wave, it's Marvel and honestly kind of supreme leader ish actually no Mach 1 honestly but uh and then I also want Miss Marvel cuz I don't have a Miss Marvel and she'd be a great addition it's going to be interesting how I'm going to fit her on to my display maybe I'll just put her next to Mr. Fantastic you know cuz it basically has the same superpowers there's probably going to be some people that are going to type out, like, actually, there's this difference. To me, they look very much similar when it comes to powers, you know, but, uh, yeah, and then as for the Demo Goblin wave, well, as of right now, it's going to be Shane Chi, because you already seen the most, my, my most excited review, which is the Doc Ock, the Superior Octopus one. So, yeah. Uh, as for any other waves, I mean, for the uh, Roy Age of Apocalypse wave, I'm going to do... My most excited one is X-Man. And probably Wild Child and maybe the Jean Grey, because I might get the Jean Grey. And then as for that Deadpool wave 3, Sunspot. I really like Sunspot all of a sudden. Like, when I saw a review of the figure, I was like, oh, I need to learn more. And then I went on to this whole deep dive into him, and I was like... This is a cool superhero. So, yeah. Let's see you in the next one. I got to end this video soon. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.